we need to consider it that by using uh, liquid biopsy, in particular by, by combining next generation methodologies and liquid biopsy, we are able to simultaneously characterize different type of alteration. But in clinical practice at this time, right now, we have the opportunity to target ctDNA because it's the main stable source that we are able to extract from the liquid biopsy into using clinical practice, also because we have data coming from different clinical trials that suggest us the use of ctDNA as starting material to analyze simultaneously different type of alteration, in particular for no small cell lung cancer patients. Uh, and on this basis, we are able to define the therapeutic management for our patients. It's possible to proceed with the profile of different type of alteration by using a CT DNA. Uh, and in the context of research, we are also able to analyze different type of nucleic acids like as RNA, but this is not for clinical practice right now, because right now we have the ability to manage correctly CT DNA by using NGS and other type of next generation methodologies or also other type of digital methodologies like as digital PCR uh, in different settings. One is in uh, uh, basal setting. The other one is in the follow-up of our patients during the treatment response, uh, like as in the example of minimal residual disease monitoring, or by using really comprehensive approach at resistance disease to verify if we are able to identify some resistance mechanisms that we are able to retarget with new drugs.